Well, if you've been interested in making the switch to driving an electric vehicle, there's a clean, green driving event that you really uh, should get charged up about. And joining me this morning from the Las Vegas Electric Vehicle Association is Stan Hanel and Paul Scott. Uh, you're from the Tesla Las Vegas Tesla Owners Group. Is correct. that correct? All right. Uh, and you are both co-chairs, uh, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, putting on a great event for National Drive Electric Week. And it's an event coming up uh, in about a week or so at the Springs event. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you both for being here. Thank you. So yeah. tell me, uh, Stan, about uh, National Drive Electric Week. Right. It's a national campaign that's uh, co-sponsored by the Electric Auto Association. Uh, the Las Vegas Electric Vehicle Association is a chapter of that one. Okay. Also the Sierra Club and another group called Plug in America. And the goal of the event is to host uh, 300 different cities internationally uh, during that week from September 14th to September 22nd and the idea is to stage events in all major cities and then if you go to our website National Drive Electric Week if someone Googles that uh, basically uh, there's a map there and, and a bunch of green dots on the map that show where every event is going to be if you click on the uh, Las Vegas site you'll uh -huh. get more information about ours we're going to be at Springs Preserve uh, on Saturday September 14th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and we're looking forward to having an electric car rally. Right now we've already got th 31 cars uh, pre-registered for oh, the event, okay. 17 different models, uh, and then we're about expecting a couple hundred people for during the day. At least, and after today it'll be more than that. All right, All right so <laughs> uh, Paul, tell me about, you're a Tesla owner, obviously. Yes. Tell me about driving a Tesla, uh, they're beautiful cars, but tell me about the benefits of driving an electric vehicle. Well, Tesla's goal was to accelerate the transition to a sus sustainable energy future. So first of all, in 2014, we installed Tesla solar panels on our roof to get our house down to near net zero energy. And then we added the Tesla a year later uh -huh. so that we could not have to go to gas stations anymore. Uh, the Tesla, it's, it's a beautiful car. It's fun to drive. It's fast. So I always liked sports cars, but I liked the comfort of luxury. And in the Tesla, I got no compromise. I got to enjoy a sports car with the comfort of a luxury car and never having to go to a gas station again is fantastic. And they keep updating the software, don't they? So that it gets a little bit faster, even more efficient, uh, more mileage to the charge. I've heard mm -hmm. that it's, it's, it gets better and better. Absolutely, and the software updates happen in your garage at <laughs> night while you're sleeping. Wow. You get up in the morning <laughs> and you get, just like your computer, you get a readme that says, here's all the things that have changed on your car overnight. That's pretty cool. We've gotten longer range, faster acceleration, uh, the ability to leave the air conditioning on during the summer when you get out of your car. So if you're going to the grocery store, just leave the air on yeah, so you don't have to get cool. back into a hot car. All right, Stan, so uh, Teslas may be out of the price range for some people, but there are a lot of affordable electric vehicles, and there are charging stations showing up everywhere to make it an easier lifestyle choice. So if you were going to talk to somebody about switching over to electric, what would you say to them? Right, it is kind of a leap of faith to, to make that transition, but it's, uh, it's something that is familiar to people. If you own a cell phone, you plug it in every night, uh -huh. and uh, so basically, instead of going to the gas station, you can set up a portable charger in your garage if you have a home, uh, and draw that power from the sun if you've installed solar. Uh, and so you just plug it in every night, and then in the morning you're ready to go. So uh, uh, that's the ch uh, the benefit of it. Uh, we're running on electromagnetic motors to propel the car. So uh, basically, it's that magnetic. Um, repellents that, that gives a torque, gives the mm -hmm. performance. Uh, you, you really feel a difference in uh, uh, an electric car when you step on the accelerator just right off the line. And they're so quiet. Yes. You almost don't <laughs> even know that the car's on. I think that's and so cool. And how much quieter would cities be if all the if all the gas cars were switched to electric? Our right. cities would be quieter, our air would be cleaner. Yeah, it definitely has its benefits, and it's growing. But uh, events like this just build the awareness, and you're there to, and you can, and people at this event a week from Saturday at the Springs Preserve, uh, 10 to 2, uh, allows people to test, ride, and drive. Is that right? You'll have vehicles there for people to experience the. Uh, more, it's more of a static display, so you'll get to talk with a lot of uh, electric vehicle owners. There's about mm -hmm. 17 different models that have already come out. Okay. Uh, so to actually do test, ride, and drives, it's better to uh, actually go straight to the dealership. And so we can point people, once they see those models, to go to the local dealerships okay. and try them there. Also, MV Energy does, uh, twice a year, does a ride and drive event at their Pearson campus. Oh, so wonderful. There'll be one probably coming up in October uh, this next month. Okay, sounds so. great. Springs Preserve, we'll have it all on our website, too, as well. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate Thank seeing you. Thank you very you. much. Thanks for being here. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, drive clean and green, everybody. Gold